hello friends welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to learn what different transformation you have to do after loading the data while working on this particular project on financial statements or we can say financial report so in our previous video we have created one date we first we have loaded the data from our data source which is an excel file then we have learned how to create a required date table from query okay we have just pasted the query and we have run that particular query and we have got this particular date table okay which is in front of you now the next thing is now what cleanups and transformation you have to do after loading the data and see trust me this is the very important step because whenever we are writing the tax formula right tax function so it should be very easy there should not be underscore in words which will complicate our formula right so what we will do we will just rename all the tables so this first balance sheet underscore template we will rename it as balance sheet template then this one as cash flow template instead of customer data we will rename it as customer only then for financial underscore template we will rename it as income statement template Invoices is fine. This will be products. Then regions. See, these small changes will make a huge impact on your data set or your project. Then this one as sales. Balance sheet data is fine. Cash flow data is fine. Company expenses is fine. Okay. So these changes you have to make. So it will make your DAX formula much easier to make the text function much easier now once you have done with this now the next step while cleaning or transformation the data is to make a group of the groups of different table okay now we have approximate 11 to 12 tables here so what we will do we will just create one group okay so for clearing creating a group you have to just right click on this particular pane you will get one option to name the group okay so first name of the group will be queries once you hit enter see one folder is created for query so what we will do we will just drag this date query into this particular folder now other queries are this one well so what we will do we will just rename we will create one more group here and the name of the group will be data model so inside the data model we will put customers income statement invoices products regions sales balance sheet company expenses and dates statement template we will bring to other queries and cash flow data to data model so now what we have done we have just grouped the table according to our needs and this will make the process much simpler 
now another thing which we can do here is we can delete some of the column which are not required so in this particular date table this date international column is not required so we'll just remove this column okay now the next thing is month name we can keep so these three column right day in week so this is not required so what we will do we will just remove day of week name we will also remove week ending we can remove okay now uh, if you observe carefully this particular month name we require this particular column so what we will do we will just split this particular column by number of character so it will ask how many character we need so we will just write down three from left and you can click ok so you can just rename this and you can delete the second column now the next column which we can remove is week number so we will just remove this one okay now the next thing which we can do is renaming of some of the columns so what we will do so month in calendar inside uh, instead of month in calendar we can keep it as month and year similarly quarter in calendar so we can rename it as quarter and year Now there is one more way of creating a column I'll tell you uh, here is one option column from example so what you can do you can just click on this one and let's say you want to create a column for quarters only so just type Q1 so it will show the list of uh, different columns in which Q1 is available so in quarter and year Q1 is available we will just select this one okay and just click on OK so see one column with the quarter one quarter two quarter three this kind of things is created and you can just rename it so just click on ok so see one column is created now we can rename it to quarters once you have transformed the certain columns which are required in the data set the next thing is to check your data type whether date and dates are in the date format or not or the numbers are in number format or not like this so you can see one icon on the left side of the column header right date is in particular calendar format or date format then year we have used as a text format for this one then quarter of a year is nothing but a number so number format is there so everything is correct you have to check this as well okay now let's check uh, our second table which is the sales table so here also all the entries are valid so line total so instead of line total what we can do we can keep it as revenue yeah and everything is correct apart from this Okay, one more thing which we can do is just separate this by space. So most of the cleanups are done. We will just check it one more time. So customer table, it is sorted. Invoices, it is also fine. Products fine region it is also clean seals we have already checked so just check the data formats it's fine balance sheet data okay now here if you observe carefully column headers are not present right so what you have to do you have to use row one as a column header 
now how to do this okay so what you have to do you have to just go to transform button here one option is there use row first row as an header so you have to just click on this one okay so first row will be used as a header then in company expenses again the same thing you have to just click on first use first row as an header dates we have already checked it is fine and cash flow data also use first row as an header okay so all our cleanups are done now we can proceed with our report so thank you for joining with me in this video please watch the next video for creating or building the report in power bi